Hey guys, it's your boy Hink here. So today I have, I always say this, but this is like pound for pound one of the best supplements you can look at, especially when it comes to men's health. And so we're gonna be talking about something called Panax Red Ginseng. Now, this has shown improvements on randomized clinical trials in everything from erection quality to libido to even things like memory, fatigue, stress, but also it can have a very significant role when it comes to enlargement. We're gonna break that all down today. We're gonna break down the data, so stay with me. You don't wanna miss this one. So in general, what is Panax Red Ginseng? It's also known as Korean Ginseng. It's just an herb that they've been using in holistic medicine for years, and they've been using it for, for years, decades, centuries even, because it has been so effective. Only recently, they've started studying it on clinical trials to prove the effectiveness. So guys, we're gonna start talking about this from an erection quality perspective. So if I use the abbreviation EQ, it stands for erection quality, okay? Now, here is a randomized control trial. So guys, you have to understand when it comes to like data, the gold standard data is a placebo controlled, meaning they had two groups of people and they split up basically one group and said, here's the red panax ginseng. And then the other group, they gave a capsule full of sugar or, you know, some benign substance that has no effect, also known as a placebo. Then they compared the two. That's the gold standard of data, okay? Unfortunately, there is a lot of data for this. So guys, in this trial, there was 45 patients that were treated with basically eight weeks on either the placebo or the ginseng, two weeks off, and then another eight weeks on, and they measured outcomes. And guys, before I go any further, all ginsengs are not created equal. So this is specifically Red Panax ginseng. So don't just go to Amazon and type in ginseng and order it because, you know, you saw Hink talking about it because it could be a different type of ginseng, which could be a completely different herb. But what they found is that the patients that were treated with Korean red ginseng had significantly higher mean international index of erectile function scores compared to those who had a baseline. They also had improved questionnaire. So when they said, you know, how would you rate your erection quality? There was a dramatic improvement in the erection quality that they reported in the guys that were taking the ginseng. And another key feature of this is they actually measured penile rigidity using something that's called like Rigi scan, measuring it at the tip of the penis. And there was a measurable difference in that. Randomized placebo controlled trial showing improvements in erection quality. One could argue, but there's only 45 patients. Don't do the voice. You're right. Okay. You're right. But it is data. Okay. And it is actually very good data. So we're going to continue. Also, so it's not as good as a placebo controlled randomized control trial. But what is also good are something called meta-analyses. This next paper we're going to look at is a meta-analysis looking at all of the good papers they can find looking at Panax Red Ginseng, specifically looking for its outcomes on erection quality. As you can see here, they identified about six or seven excellent randomized controlled, placebo-controlled trials, and they put all of the data together and they looked at the outcomes and they measured this on the graph, which you can see here in this data. A neutral study would be if that little circle would be like smack dab in the middle. A negative study would even be if it maybe favored the placebo. But as you can see, like all of those dots on all of the different metrics that they looked at on this screenshot, you can see were improved when it comes to the Panax Red Ginseng. And so they showed a significant effect of the use of this supplement in a meta-analysis. So we have randomized control trial, we have a meta-analysis, all saying that there is a significant improvement in erection quality when looking at the Red Panax Ginseng. Here is yet another more recent randomized control trial looking at the effects of this, you know, Red Korean Ginseng. They looked at 119 men with mild to moderate erectile dysfunction. So this is not your, you know, your average men. Hank, you can't just extrapolate all the time. I mean, guys, like, what do you want me to, what do you want me to say here? Okay. They're looking at guys with erectile dysfunction. If it helps guys with erectile dysfunction, I think it might help your average guy too. But who knows? I can't find a trial looking specifically at that subgroup of people. But what they found in this trial, as you can see here in this graph, there was a significant improvement in sexual function measured by those like IIEF, International Index of Erectile Function scores, the standardized way to measure erectile function in the group that was treated with the red Panax ginseng. Another very key component to this trial that they looked at is they actually measured blood hormonal levels and blood profiles, even things like lipids. And they found that all of that remained unchanged. So not only is this effective, but this study effectively proves that it's also safe to take. And they even concluded that the oral administration of this supplement improved all domains of sexual function, including one that I'm going to talk about in just a second, but I want to make it its own separate topic. So spoiler alert, stay tuned. Now, you might be saying to yourself, well, that's all well and good, Hink. You know, yes, it improves erectile function, but, you know, why should I potentially use it, especially when we're doing things like penile enlargement? Well, I'll tell you why, okay? 
So the first paper we're going to look at is actually exploring the effects of red padax ginseng when it comes to elastin. So guys, if you haven't seen my video on elastin and its importance when it comes to penile health, please check it out. But this paper is so in-depth. It looks at not only elastin levels, but also collagen levels, its effects on fibroblasts. I'm going to break it all down here. I'll leave the link to the paper in the description. I highly suggest you read the paper, form your own conclusions. Don't listen to some clown in a mask that doesn't know what he's talking about. So what they did in this trial is they treated human skin fibroblasts with red panax ginseng to measure basically the stiffness. This is particularly a study looking at skin and looking at it in the sense of aging. Oh, hey, see, there you go again. I know, guys, just stay with me. But I think that there are some very important takeaways that we can get from it. So number one is there was a significant reduction in cellular stiffness. Stiffness, you know, it might be counterintuitive, you know, oh, I got a stiffy. Stiffness and actually like the fibroblastic, the collagen tissue in your penis is not a good thing. It can often represent things like fibrosis, especially when it comes to enlargement. We do not want stiffness. We want elasticity. We want the ability to stretch and to dilate. So what this study showed is that when they exposed these fibroblasts to red panax ginseng, you had a decrease in the amount of stiffness. So for those that don't know, you know, if you've been watching my channel, you certainly know this by now, but when it comes to the tunica albuginea, a fibrous sheath that surrounds the penis, that's responsible for the size of the penis, that is the rate limiting factor for the size of your penis. It is made out of different types of collagen which in collagen is deposited by things called fibroblasts. So this all works its way back together, but we are extrapolating from skin data. But what they saw is that when you expose these skin cells to the red pedax ginseng, you get increased flexibility. And that's demonstrated by this chart here, these graphs here. Once again, guys, when it comes to decreased stiffness, we need to look at something that's called actin. Now, what you can see here in this picture is that when you introduce the red ginseng to these fibroblast skin cells, you actually have a reduction in F-actin, which is the structural protein partially responsible for that rigidity. By using the red ginseng, you can actually have improvements once again in the flexibility and the malleability of the tunica. Once again, guys, if you have not seen my video on elastin, please watch it. It'll help make a lot more sense. I don't want to break it down now. Here's a quote from one of the actual anatomic papers that I found. It says approximately 5% of the tunica is elastin, which allows the penis to develop elongation. And what we can see here in these charts is that once again, red ginseng is going to increase the amount of elastin that is deposited. Now that's particularly good for skin health, but it can also be very good for the tunica health. There was also significant effects on collagen that they found, okay? Specifically, it was able to decrease the amount of type 1 collagen. So guys, in my opinion, we do not want excessive collagen deposition in the penis because, guys, that is literally what happens in the process of fibrosis. You get excessive collagen deposition. And also, the more collagen that's deposited into the tunica, that sheath around your penis, the harder it is going to be to stretch it. So if you are taking a supplement that is going to decrease that amount of collagen deposition, especially that type 1 collagen, that is a very good thing. And that's what we can see in these graphs here. Now, what they did find is that there was an increase in the collagen type 7. Now, guys, collagen type 7 is pretty much specific for skin health. So I'm not going to go through all the like the boring stuff, but basically you have several layers to your skin. The collagen type 7 is what's responsible for attaching the epidermis to the dermis and securing that. I don't think that that has much of an impact in what we're doing here, that that is increased. But, you know, whatever, for your knowledge, double jeopardy, there you go. Guys, once again, that's data from the skin, but it has components that are found in the penis. I think it's pretty important data. You take a look at it and tell me what you think. Now, guys, here we're going to get to some of the other like really fun things that I think are beneficial when it comes to red panax ginseng. But before I go any further, guys, I'm on my way to 50K. It would mean the world to me if you would take a second to just hit that like button. It's free. It costs you nothing. And if you're enjoying this content and would like more of it, please consider subscribing. It means a hell of a lot, and I appreciate it. So guys, from this same paper that we talked about before, believe it or not, red panax ginseng can actually help improve premature ejaculation. So guys, what they saw in this trial, that when they measured their premature ejaculation scores, there was a significant improvement in the groups that were using the red panax ginseng. So once again, randomized control trial showing improvements in premature ejaculation. So if you're suffering with that, you know, consider this supplement. And also guys, I got a supplement in the works for you. So stay tuned. Now also libido guys. So libido is a big one. There's a lot of anecdotal evidence about improvements in libido in both men and women. But here we actually have a trial. Now this was in women, specifically postmenopausal women. 
So all you married guys that are probably pretty close to my age, maybe just a little bit older with women that are going through menopause and libido tanks, this study actually proves that red ginseng can help to boost that libido and improve their overall sexual experience. So keep that in mind. You're welcome. Now, guys, there's also very significant mental benefits with this, okay? So it's specifically what I'm talking about is cognition, okay? And so here are two trials here. I'll have Callie put them up here that showed that you have improvement in cognition on actual like testing that they do. And especially this second paper here it was an otherwise healthy, normal, like young men. There was an improvement in the cognitive function on tests. So there's a mental benefit to taking it, especially for a guy like me that's high stress and has, you know, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I have some mood issues. You know, I've talked about my depression on my live streams before. So this supplement has been proven to help with mood, mental arithmetic, and calmness in this study here. And then in this next randomized control trial, guys, once again, you have improvements in reduction of the amount of stress that you are sensing. This can do wonders to, for, for those of you that might be high stress or have some other issues, in addition to all of the PP benefits. And guys, if that's not enough, you know, I feel like a, a salesman here, you know, but whatever, it's, it's going based on the data. There's also evidence that can help with metabolic disorders. So if you have diabetes or glucose issues, talk to your doctor. Talk to your doctor about any of this stuff before you take it. But it can have improvement there, as well as even things like exercise, physical performance, Alzheimer's disease, some sort of cardiovascular benefits, depending on what studies you look at. So do the research. I'm not going to break down all that, but there's a lot of other potential benefits. Now, when it comes to dose, guys, doses are kind of all over the place for some of these trials. In general, the dose can range from about 200 milligrams to about 3,000 milligrams. It also is important what percentage of the, basically, the active ginseng particles are actually in the formula as well as like what you're stacking it with. Now guys, you know that I make all of my stuff based on research, okay? And that's why in Fortitude, that's one of the main ingredients is the red Panax ginseng because of all of these potential benefits when it comes to libido, erection quality, and even when it comes to enlargement purposes. I've also made videos on horny goat weed and why that's so important. That's also in here, guys. Every ingredient in this, I personally researched and found data to support my claims. And there's no proprietary blend of derp, derp, and derp. No, you guys know exactly what the dose is. And guys, it's very effective. And there's a reason why it's a bestseller. There's a reason why it sells out. And there's a reason why it has such good reviews on our website. So check it out if you're interested. The link is in the description below. In closing, I just, I think the supplement is fantastic, okay? It has improvements in erection quality. It has potential improvements when it comes to actual penile enlargement and things like premature ejaculation and even things like mood and mental clarity and stress levels. Talk to your doctor, but I highly suggest you guys consider trying it if you're interested. And of course, if you want to try Fortitude or any of these products, I greatly appreciate the support. Even my guy, Blood Flow Nutrition Doc is like, oh yeah, Red Panax Ginseng is a tier one supplement. So there you go. That's all, that's all, that's all I Need. So guys, that's going to do it for this video. Once again, the links to all of these supplements are in the description. If you're interested and you want to support your boy, I also have my enlargement course. I put on over an inch and a half in length and over an inch in girth using actual real science-based techniques that I can point papers to. And so if you're interested, the link is in the description for that. Of course, if you need to reach me for coaching or consultation, or you just want to talk or support your boy, you know, I do it through my patreon.com slash docink. And of course, if you want to support my fabulous editor, Callie, he has his own YouTube channel looking at that. He posts clips of like motivational speeches. And he also has links for some of his merch in the description as well. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. Remember, there's nothing wrong with self-improvement, but you are enough just as you are. But most importantly, just be the best version of yourself. All right, guys, peace and love. Dr. Hank got the plug on the health, yeah. Got you thinking about your wealth, yeah. In his office, no stealth, yeah no stealth. Pinnacle of that below the belt, yeah Checks and balance, he's managing Working miracles, no damage Got you covered, no panic, can't stay calm In the clinic, no vanishing Yeah, with Doc King, it's the way back